Here is the certificate that the width of this post set that we've been talking about is at most none. So I would have been terribly cruel to assign you in the working groups to see if you could find a 10 element antechain when I already know the answer. The answer is no. Now look at this coloring, and this coloring is different. This coloring, elements which have the same color form a chain. Okay, now the, the color class which is somehow interesting here is look at color class nine. Look at the elements colored nine. Is it clear to you that those elements form a chain, a chain of size three? So don't be misled by saying, oh no, that's not a chain because there's a seven in the middle of it. That's okay. There's two nines up above and then there's a red nine down at the bottom. But is it clear to you that those three elements form a chain. So this time, the coloring determines a partition of the post set into nine chains. If there's a partition of the post set into nine chains, then by the pigeonhole principle, there cannot be an antechain of size 10. And therefore, the width of this post set is 9. The red points form an antechain of size 9, so the width is at least 9. And the coloring, the coloring shows that the width is at most 9. So I got at least 9, at most 9. The answer is 9. How would you like to be given a picture? Oh, let's say... What's this got? This has got 26 points, right? One for each letter of the alphabet. How would you like to be given uh, a picture for a post set? Say on 100 points. I could fit it on an 8 by 11 piece of paper and ask to find the height and the width with no methods. Because see, I, I haven't given you any methods, have I? I, I just did a picture. Question. Two, two eights are next to each other. So. I, it cost me 50 cents. I bought it out there on the mall. <laughs> I, I, I haven't shown you one. I will. I will. Hang on. Okay. Okay. But in the, this is an important point, though. So let me repeat his question. He, 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 in essence, asked me, how did I do this? And I, I gave you the joking response. I bought it. Okay, the point is that when you're providing a certificate, you're not required to explain how you got it. Whether you cranked on it with a supercomputer, whether you did it on your smartphone, whether you did it by hand, whether you bought it, doesn't matter. Just is it right or not? And can an independent referee check it? So an independent referee checks that and says, yes, that is a coloring with nine colors, and all, for each of the nine colors, all the elements with that color form a chain. Okay. Now, we're, we're going to begin to explain how I did that. Question? Can you explain how you notice the, uh, the upper bound? OK. Uh, the upper bound comes from the fact that I've used nine colors. And for any one of the colors, all the elements that have that color form a chain. How could there be an anti-chain of size 10? 10 pigeons, 9 holes. The holes are the anti-chain. I mean, the holes are the chains. How can you put 10 pigeons into 9 holes? You have to put 2 pigeons into the same hole. But if it's an anti-chain, any two pigeons are incomparable, you put them in the same hole, they have to be comparable. You can't do that. Pigeonhole principle. Okay. So these pictures right here 
are the ones I was referring to back at the start of class when I said you, you, you got to study these carefully to, to make sure that you understand what they're actually saying. <laughs>